Hi, I'm Kat and welcome to the Tuesday Laydown Diaries at Parnassus. I'm playing the role of Anne and Lindsay today and I'm gonna get to tell you about some awesome new books that are coming out. We have got first up, Leigh Bardugo, The Familiar. You guys know her, you love her, the book has sprayed edges. It is a wonderful story set in this kind of reimagined Inquisition era Spain. This young woman has magical powers, they get discovered, she has to navigate the court and all the intrigue that comes with it as she tries to make a life for herself. A follow-up to The Book That Wouldn't Burn, The Book That Broke the World by Mark Lawrence. If you liked the first one, grab this one. Anne Lamott's 20th book. I don't know how she keeps writing them, but she does. We have signed copies of Somehow, Thoughts on Love. And The Age of Magical Overthinking by Amanda Montel. She hosts the podcast Sounds Like a Cult. Her previous book, Cultish, was kind of has kind of a cult following, if you will. And this is a really great book on all the ways that we trick ourselves with our own minds to navigate the world from things like sunk cost fallacy, positive thinking to try and influence the world around us, manifesting, and she's got some really great thoughts on all that. This is what I'm in the middle of right now and I'm loving it so much. Hampton Sides, The Wide Wide Sea. He is a fantastic historian and this is all about Captain Cook's third and final fatal voyage. It's about you know, exploring Polynesia, British colonialism, what it was like aboard these ships. Hint, it was really, really gross. And I can't imagine ever being on one of those, but it's a fascinating read and we've got signed copies. And he's gonna be here. And he's gonna be here. And I'm really excited about it because I love him. My Black Country by Alice Randall, a journey through country music's black past, present, and future. Ooh. Incredibly timely with the release of Cowboy Carter. This is a history of kind of the unsung heroes of country music that were black Americans, Alex <laughs> being one of them. And last but very much not least, Music and Mind, edited by Renee Fleming, Harnessing the Arts for Health and Wellness. This is a collection of essays on opera featuring an essay from one, Ann Patchett. And now we have Elise with events. Hi everyone, before I get to events, I want to give a big shout out to Malaprops, independent bookstore in Asheville, North Carolina. I was there this past weekend. It is such a great store and Asheville is lucky to have them. Shout out to the Sunday crew who were so wonderful. Malaprops, go there if you're in the vicinity. Okay, we are just moving and shaking here. Great event last night with Abby Jimenez. I think we have like seven copies signed. That are, we have seven signed copies that are left. If you want one, you better get on it right now. Okay, so tonight, Hannah Witten, the Hamlock Queen, she's in conversation with Jenna Levine. So I don't even know that I have to tell you about this. I think maybe we have a seat and a half left. I don't know, it's crazy. We love Hannah Witten and we're thrilled to host her. Then on Wednesday, we have Deep Water. We love Jamie Sumner. This is at four o'clock, so pay attention to that. Deep Water, and she is in conversation with gold medalist Ashley Whitney. And then on Thursday, not one, but two events. In store, Leaf Anger, I cheerfully refuse. Leaf, we had such a tremendous response to this. So again, I don't know if there's a seat left. I did not check, I am so sorry, but you can check. And you should check our website. And while you're there, look ahead, get tickets, sign up, come to the events. So that is in-store Thursday, 6.30. Meanwhile, off-site at 6.30 at Vanderbilt's Langford Auditorium, there will be amazing folks. James Patterson in conversation with John M. Siegenthaler. And as I mentioned last week, this is the secret lives of me, of booksellers and librarians. So if you wanna hear all of my secrets, attend. There are still tickets left. Langford Auditorium Thursday, Friday. Alice Randall, we love you. This is my black country. This has gotten so much press and so much praise. And we are thrilled that we call Alice one of our own here in Nashville. And we couldn't be more thrilled to have her Friday night. This is sold out, sorry. Um, but check every once in a while, there might be a refund. Meanwhile, if you are not able to get to the event or couldn't get tickets, we will have signed copies. 
So Alice, we can't wait to see you on Friday. And then on Saturday, a meet and greet. I mean, this is incredible. Maren Morris, we all know her. She wrote this book with, I think it was her school friend. Was it her best friend? Karina Argo. And this is Addie Ant Goes on Adventure. So this is uh, Saturday, story time. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. You can meet Maren Morris. I'm sorry, but it is kind of exciting. I know I'm really excited. So those are all the events that I can think of for this week. It's a full week. Get online. Look at all the events. And now we will look at the great Rayanne. Thanks, Amazing Elise. Hi, friends. It is the new Spark Book Club pick out today. The Night War by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. You may know her from her Newberry Honor book, The War That Saved My Life. She returns to World War II in this amazing book. I promise if you read it, you will not be able to put it down. It's set in 1942, where Mary's family is all taken away, and she escapes to the countryside where she must pretend to be Catholic and must fill the role of someone to do something very dangerous. I know you want to pick it up. Another great middle grade out today. Yay, Jamie Sumner, your book Deep Water is out. This is Jamie's first novel in verse, perfect for poetry month. This is about Tully, who plans to swim across Lake Tahoe because she's pretty sure she does, her mom will probably come back, but she's not supposed to be on the lake. She doesn't have permission and only her friend knows she's there and is, and is swimming, it is with her in the boat alongside her. This is such an amazing, harrowing book. And tomorrow, 4 p.m., one of our after-school specials, you can come and see her. Another great middle grade out today by Lynn Kelly, The Secret Language of Birds. This is about a girl at summer camp who finds two endangered birds who are about to hatch eggs and makes a plan to save them. In YA, Canto Contigo by Johnny Garza Villa. This is about a boy in a mariachi band who changes schools and is pretty sure he's gonna be the lead singer in the new mariachi band, but a familiar face already has the role. Charlotte Chang and Dan Santat have Roar Chew out today. It's about a dragon with a cold and a friend who's trying to help him, but he's not listening. So this is a great book about friendship and accepting help. If Anne were here, she would present Emma Straub's new book. I know it's Gaga Mistake Day, written by Emma Straub and her mother, Susan Straub, illustrated by Jessica Love, because it's always great when your grandmother comes to visit. I wanna show you the new picture book that Elise mentioned, Addie Ant Goes on an Adventure by music superstar, Maren Morris and her best friend, school teacher, Karina Argo, and it's beautifully illustrated by Kelly Ann Dalton. So this is about Addie Ant. She's going on an adventure through the garden. Sometimes journeys can be hard, but it's important to know who you are and also to accept help from your friends. Look, we've got a friendship thing going, which is always a good thing. A few tickets left for the 2 p.m. Saturday meet and greet. Go online and grab one. Thanks for listening. All of these books will be on our new releases page on the website so you can shop easily. Thanks for listening and have a great day.